everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i hope this i'm i don't know if i'm coming off orange or what but i feel like i am <laughs> okay y'all i can't help it if i am i don't know i feel like i should change my lighting but then i don't see that's too bright for me like that's too bright let's see turn it down just like right there okay maybe that's fine i don't feel like changing the paneling of the ring light and it's on my warm setting so i whatever all right y'all welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel really quick this is our january wrap up of how i did as far as budgeting how i did as far as spending um and all that so let's get into it okay so january was kind of hard for me y'all i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna sugarcoat anything um mainly because i it was my birthday month number one and number two i feel like my hardest thing for january was eating out i ate out a lot this month which is crazy because i lost some weight upon eating out so i'm trying to figure out how how do how they coincided with each other but um i i tracked all my spending um matter of fact i need a pen i tracked all my spending except for today's spending um today i went um me and my daughter had a mother-daughter date and we went to lunch at um cheddar's so i try to do something with my keys just them individually so they'll you know just to have that individual one on time one on one time so i'm gonna write that in here today is the 29th uh cheddars it was 39 dollars i gave the girl eight dollar tip um so it was like 40 i forgot 39 40 for one for two for three for six for 40 no it was 46 dollars and some change 46.86 i remember that um and ross had a sale and i bought her this jacket that she's been wanting um so you know they had the little thing where they have they marking stuff down trying to get it out of there i caught the tail end of that sale i feel like and i I a jacket that my daughter had been wanting and I finally was able to get it so I copped it for her. um but yeah this is my end of the month spending so I'm going to show you guys well I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about it like I said my hardest thing was eating out I was able to put money back and we'll look at that in the planner and then we'll go into February and we'll talk about some of the um things that i could have done differently so without further ado let's get into this january budget so what i will say is although i was um responsible when it came to paying bills i was responsible this is just so orange <sighs> okay yeah i was responsible when it came to paying bills i was responsible when it was um when it came to putting money in my savings i don't feel like i was responsible when it came to spending i feel like a lot of these places i could have um not went to and even if i went to them i didn't have to do so much um i think i just did a i did a lot of overspending and like certain places like Lowy seafood i spent 79 dollars I could have easily went to Fiesta or Walmart and bought seafood and cooked it at home and probably wouldn't have spent nothing but 30 bucks. I could have cut down that cost. Um, going to, for instance, let me see. Going to, for instance, um, Gringos. I could have made, all I had was some fish tacos. I could have made my own fish tacos. Um, Texas Roadhouse. I had what did I have at Texas Roadhouse? I think I had a steak. Um, but I think I ate there because my daughter and her cousin went to the movies and we dropped them off and I didn't want to go home. Um so I decided to just um 
hang out and me my son and my husband went to Texas Roadhouse that's fine but the rest of that stuff could have been preventable if number one I would have went to the store stocked up on things that I needed things I knew I liked to eat like I've started getting back into fruits like oranges and apples and stuff like that um, and grapes I could have really saved a lot of money if I would have did those things instead of eating out and buying just buying junk food so I decided for um, next month to do something totally different and we'll get into that when I get into the February budget but was January a failure yes and no January was a success because I did put back what I wanted to put back as far as my savings um, bills all bills were paid um, it was a failure because I still feel like I did too much spending. My goal for next month is not to go into two pages of spending. That was two pages of spending. Yes, it was a whole month, but it was still too, that was too much. Even if, even if it was five here or 10 here or 12 here or three here, that money adds up and that's money I could have done something else with. Um, I haven't even totaled up the other side of this thing, but I know one side, as you guys can see, totaled up to $331.59. So I can imagine what the other side totaled up to. So I probably spent about six, $700 eating out, buying junk food. That's ridiculous because that's the money I could have put in my savings account. And it's like seeing it on paper kind of allows me to kind of fully grasp what my issues are and kind of take hold of them and definitely try to do better um next month not saying that i can't eat out but instead of eating out two or three times a eat a week maybe eat out once a week and make sure that my limit is maybe 10 bucks 10 bucks tops if i can't get what i want within that that ten dollars then it just doesn't need to be get to be gotten um but just living my eating out once a week and instead of spending 60 70 dollars trying to go to a restaurant spend 60 70 dollars making sure that i have food for lunch for work or i have enough fruits and stuff around the house so i'll be doing that i think i'm gonna start a fruit and vegetable budget because i like fruits and vegetables um and 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 try to do better with that because this I don't feel good about January. I want to go in. I want it to feel better about it. And the choices that I've made looking at it on paper, some of these things were definitely unnecessary and could have, could have, I could have said no to, and I did not. And I wasn't responsible with it. Like Chinese food at work, twelve ninety nine. I had, I had them bring me Chinese food. Okay. <laughs> since least i could have packed a lunch matter of fact i think that day i had a lunch sitting in the freezer i just chose not to eat it so that was just lazy and that was me just wanting to spin so yeah um disappointed with february but i'm okay with february it's like, so it's like i have mixed feelings and on this side i'm okay with with january but on this side i'm disappointed um so in order to be completely satisfied i know i'm gonna have to go in and really make some changes about my spending habits because although i don't i haven't bought a wig or i haven't bought clothes or i haven't bought shoes i still now turn my obsession into food so yeah um that is it for january i'm just um my goals for february are to decrease my spending by at least 75 percent um, and I'm going to work really, really hard to do that. Um, February will kind of give me uh, an advantage because everybody knows that's income tax time and I plan on putting my income tax money up. So it's going to kind of give me an advantage and kind of give me a step ahead. But that doesn't mean because it's that time of the month to still go spending crazy and still get out of hand with my spending because i still want to remain financially responsible and this will be a test walking into february will definitely be a test for me because it's gonna show me um my strength um and it's gonna it's gonna make me really really have um find that willpower within myself so yeah 
I just wanted to share this. I want to show my, I share my failures, share my triumphs with you guys. I'm going to share it all with you guys because I know I'm not the only one that struggles with this. I know that I'm not the only one that's trying to get financially on track and I'm not going to sit up here and make it look easy and make it look like it's something that's not because it's not easy and it takes time to get used to and it, it takes time to adjust and you have to, when you first start out, you're going to make mistakes. So this allows you to learn from your mistakes and learn how to create a better budget with it for yourself and learn how to um, be more financially responsible so I'm going to share all this with you guys just because I feel like this will help somebody because it this my this has definitely helped me so yeah I'm going to get out of here remember if nobody tells you you're beautiful remember simply keep what I'll say you're beautiful because you simply are and I'll see you guys in the next video bye